I mean, we, when we moved to California, my, uh, you know, my parents, it was like a playground to them. So we went on a lot of camping trips. I mean, we were, we went on just a lot of trips in general. Um, and you know, we would go back and forth to Indiana where my mom's family is every summer and see our family out there. Um, my dad and I were really close um, when it came to sports. Like, I mean, even though he, you know, even though he wasn't a big fan of certain like sports that I was interested in, he was always really, you know, he was always really supportive. And then once he, once he got me into hockey, it was like, that's what really kind of bonded us um, together. Cause he was, you know, the coach of my hockey team. And then we started playing hockey together on a, on a league when I was like 15. So, um, but I mean, our childhood was good. I mean, I had, you know, I, I was the oldest of three. Thank During you. the movie, two men enter into your basement and start looking through your father's documents and, and whatnot and the boxes. Mm -hmm. I just, I was kind of wondering if that was truthful and, uh, and did you ever figure out who those, who those men were that just seemed to kind of vanish? <laughs> No, that, you know, it's, it's kind of a, uh, sorry to burst your bubble, but that was definitely, you know, that was a Hollywood, uh, okay. <laughs> Hollywood scene. So. Yeah, but you know, the, the thing about it, so the, the, we, ne we definitely knew our phones were being tapped. I mean, you could, you could hear the kind of clicking, um, you know, that, that like after a certain amount of time, you know, you were talking to either, cause at the time, that was the time when you had no one out cell phone. So you're always using the house phone. So, yeah. you know, for like a couple of minutes of uh, talking, I'd usually be talking to like a friend at that, probably that period of my time. Uh, you know, you'd hear like a clicking noise or something, you know, but it, th that, that scene was definitely just there to up the intensity of the film. I mean, most of the, most of the story, um, as far as, facts and the way the events happened are truthful. They just compressed everything, you know, yeah. to fit into this uh, one and a half hour timeline that they're kind of restricted to. Or Did you, so his, uh, his senior editor and his publisher, uh, Don Garcia and Jerry Sepos, did you ever, uh, did you ever have any hostile feelings or, or were you ever kind of disappointed in the way that, that they, that they treated your father? Um, well, Jerry Sepos, um, especially, I mean, Don Garcia, no, I mean, my dad really respected Don and she was kind of, she only had so much leeway after a while, you know, but she, she just kind of stuck to the wrong side of the tracks, you know, when mm -hmm. the push come, came to shove, but, um, she, she wasn't, you know, she was, she didn't really have as much reach as, you know, obviously Sepos did. So, yeah, I mean, I, I don't hold any grudges with Don Garcia, um, but I certainly do for Jerry Sapos. I mean, it was just, it, it was just kind of, you know, he was he was protecting his his future, you know, in the long run. Um, and, you know, he went on to have this wonderful career, you know, uh, how convenient for him and how nice for him. But um, yeah. Yeah, it was just kind of, it was just ridiculous how supportive he was in the beginning. And then just, it was almost like something, somebody said something to him. You know? After reading uh, your dad's, your dad's yeah. story, Dark Alliance, did your, uh, did your opinions of, of what you thought was going on change? Or was there anything that you found out a little later on that you weren't, uh, mm -hmm. weren't exactly sure of while you were? Yeah. Yeah. Because this, uh, so they, they made me a little bit older in the movie. Um, I was about 12 when this whole thing was going down. And oh, okay. so, so they made me a little bit older in the movie. Um, but I mean, I still knew what was happening, um, but never, not to the great extent that I'm aware of now. Um, mm -hmm. but like, and a good example is so when, um, the, when the African American community in South Central Los Angeles started finding out about this story, you know, there's rallies and there's there's big meetings and you know, just huge. And they were held in like you know high school auditoriums. So we went down to one, and when I just saw like how angry um, 
you know, how angry everyone was, not, not at my father, but just how angry everyone was at the situation. That's, you know, and how many people there were, uh, that's when I kind of realized this was even bigger than, than I could have, met, have imagined. And then once he started coming on TV and doing interviews with Montel Williams and you started seeing him on, on the news, that's when I realized it was, it was not just his, not just another story, you know, not just another average story. You know, my dad was, my dad had this, uh, he was a, incredibly stubborn when it came to being told what to do and what not to do. So, um, so he really... He, he, he thought he was invincible, uh, you know, he thought as long as he's telling the truth, the truth will protect him. Yeah. When the CIA released, uh, I think it was around 400 page report authenticating everything, mm -hmm. uh, what was your initial reaction? Well, this was what, 98. Um, so to be quite honest with you, it was, it was something that I, I heard around the house, um, but it wasn't it wasn't very, it wasn't like I was surprised, you know, it was just like, um, kind of, well, it's about time, yeah. you know, and honestly, I was, I was still pretty young at that point. So I didn't realize, you know, my, my full, full, fully, full understanding of it wasn't, wasn't exactly a hundred percent. So, um, like I said, I, I wasn't surprised, but I just thought like the convenient timing of the release of the report is kind of what pissed me off more than, you know, the, the report coming out at all, you know? What do you, like overall, what do you think that your father's legacy, legacy should be? Um, well, that's a, yeah, that's a good question. It's, I mean, his, his legacy is already, I feel like it's already alive and, and strong, um, since especially since this movie has came out you know this is a great we we fought for so long to get this movie made because it's a a film film is just a medium that you know you can once it's out there you know it'll live on forever 